you. Well, this is the smoking gun, if you like. This is the, uh, the file which is unobtrusively labelled Car Bills and Letters, 1937. And uh, within it, there, there lurks quite a story, really. Um, they were overtaking a lorry, and as they did so, and there was a vehicle coming the other way, and something appeared from behind that vehicle, mm. and Britain hit it head on. Uh, on the 19th of May, the day after the crash, indicating that in accordance with the provisions of the Road Traffic Act 1930, they intend to prosecute Benjamin Britain for uh, driving a motor car in a manner dangerous to the public. Um, and he was actually asked, instead of paying a fine mm. in the end, so after mm. all this, yeah. to, to actually compose a piece for a road safety film yeah. um, promoting safer, safer driving. So the resulting piece, The Most Important Pedal, uh, was attached to a short film about um, road safety. And we do have, we do have that piece here. Um, and Britain was quite accustomed to writing incidental music for uh, public information films and tended to write them for quite a small band uh, with a lot of percussion and, and that kind of thing. Um, but he wrote uh, this particular piece and wanted to make it thematic to the subject matter. So he actually chose to use a car horn as the solo instrument. And this is the original car horn that he used um, for the recording of this film. And it's quite interesting to, to see what Britain's done here because it's quite a serious subject. Um, but he attacks the particularly the car horn part with a characteristic, I think, rhythmic urgency that is, is spreads across Britain's entire repertoire, particularly from this period. Um, so I'm just going to play a little bit of the car horn part. I'm not an expert on this instrument, but it's I'm just going to have a go at it. There's a bit actually where it mutes, and in the instructions he suggests that you put your handkerchief down the bell um, of the car horn, so we've just got a kitchen towel, unfortunately. first played uh, the car horn part actually went on to become the principal triangle player in the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra and I think was always very grateful uh, for Britain to give him this opportunity early on in life. And it's quite interesting playing it, it has an unusual plangency, rather like the cor anglais I think, which was an instrument that Britain was quite drawn to later on in life. Um, I think it, it's surprisingly expressive, quite moving actually, um, given, especially given the serious subject matter, it's quite appropriate. So um, it was a real pleasure to play that. <laughs> 